What is up guys? Today I'm making a video that not only was I requested on some comments here before, but I also said on a previous video where I was showing how the cooling system on a two-stroke Sea-Doo worked from the inside, that I was going to show where each cooling hose goes on the Sea-Doo when the engine is already in the jet ski. As you guys can see, I already have my engine in place, but I do not have the drive shaft installed. That's because I'm going to replace the drive shaft seal carrier because mine has gone bad. And also you can see here that the electrics are all over the place because I had to replace the starter solenoid and the relay in there. So that's going to be in another video. But now let's get to it so I can show you how the cooling system works. Well, to start with this hose here, you can see it's a regular gas hose. I chose that because I like having a transparent hose right here so I can see if everything is working properly and water is flowing through. So starting with the intake, this hose here comes from outside, comes from the jet pump. This is the hose that feeds water into the engine when the engine is running. The water then flows into the head and the cylinders of the engine to cool it like we saw in the other video. We also have this hose here, which is an exit that goes to the back of the jet ski, which is your uh, flush port. That is the connection that you plug your hose in when you want to start your jet ski outside of the water and flush the engine. When you flush your engine, the water then comes in through this hose rather than the one on the left. So after that, when the engine is running, the water is going to get out through this hose here, which has a T connection. This T connection is going to have two exits, one that goes to the bottom side of the exhaust and one that comes to the top of it, as you can see. So the exit on top has a coil that runs through the exhaust up to the nipple that it has on top where it has the transparent hose connected to it. And the bottom connection goes straight down to the bottom part of the exhaust pipe. That's it for the hoses up here, but as we've seen on the other video, this engine has channels within that exit on a nipple on the uh, exhaust manifold and this is exhaust manifold which is in the back here I'll show you in a little bit as I said has a nipple that connects a hose to it and this hose goes to the telltale which in some jet skis are in the back and some are on the uh, front left side let me go around and show it to you so as I was saying we have this hose here that gets out of the exhaust coil and goes to the water box this hose helps cooling down the exhaust on the exit part where it doesn't have any water flowing through it or almost no water flowing through. And down here, it's a little hard for me to show you on this video, but on the previous video I did show you the nipple, we have this hose right here. This hose right here is going to vary on the model of the jet ski. The older ones are going to have only one exit and the newer ones, but still old two-stroke ones, are going to have two exits on it. So in this model, it has two exits, one that goes to the back, as you can see, and one that comes to the front, that you can see it's disconnected here. That is for the telltale. That's going to be the little sprinkle of water that it shoots from the side of the jet ski when your engine is on to let you know that water is flowing through your engine. So that's pretty much it. The connections are actually fairly simple, as you can see on the video. But if you have any doubts or if you want to add something to my video, please leave it on the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this video helped you. See you next time.